Patriot Ride's about, it's an experience of the day. We want people to not just have a motorcycle ride, we want them to be able to get out there and talking to soldiers. We're going to have the Navy here, the Marines are going to be here, the Air Force is going to be here, and a lot of these guys are riding with us today, and a lot of these women are riding with us today, and we want people to experience something. Uh, the closing ceremonies this afternoon, Governor Plenty will be with us, um, but the key point and the point of honor we're trying to bring today is that there was a Vietnam soldier who was killed in action and didn't receive military honors. And this year, we're going to make sure he gets the honor, dignity, and respect he deserves by having military honors. So my friend, Sergeant First Class Brian Robin, he and his honor squad are going to be doing, playing taps, a rifle salute, and then folding the flag and presenting the flag to his family. All the proceeds from today get split between the Minnesota Patriot Guard and the Minnesotans Military Appreciation Fund. The Minnesota Patriot Guard were primarily motorcyclists, obviously, as you can see today. But you don't have to be a motorcyclist. You don't even have to be a veteran to be a member. But, you know, we are about showing honor, dignity, and respect to all of our military members. We attend funerals if requested by family. We do deployments. We do send-offs. Um, we have what we call help in the home front. And we're going to work with families of the deployed soldiers. We play bingo with the vets down in the hospital. Because those, those men and women are the truly forgotten people in the veterans' world. Um, Minnesotans Military Appreciation Fund, if you're a military member with combat pay since 9-11-01, you can get a $500 grant just by simply applying for it. So it's two wonderful causes and we're just trying to help people like Brian as they come back home and let them know that we as Minnesotans care. And that's really what we're about. Today it's just it's a celebration of our military, um, but it's also it's about re remembering because we will never forget our fallen heroes. I wanted to ride is uh, three years ago I went on the first one that I didn't even heard about and we went through all these little small towns in Minnesota down through the St. Croix River Valley the whole town all the townspeople were on the sidewalk waving American flags and, and uh, some were saluting us and, uh, I don't think there was a dry eye in the whole the whole ride we never expected anything like this we were escorted through every town by a police car and I would say it was at a little bit more than legal speed. Every fire department had their boom truck out with a flag over the highway that we passed under. It was quite an experience. Uh, this is my first Patriot Guard ride. Uh, I've been on many rides before, but uh, haven't seen anything quite like this. I uh, just came out to support the troops and salute them for their hard work and dedication. And uh, hopefully meet a few friends, like the guys standing next to me, and uh, hope we have a good, safe ride. I'm sure it'll be a memorable one. Heard about this just through friends, and my dad is in the reserves, just retired, so it's a good cause for everybody, and uh, it's good like camaraderie between everyone. It's just an honor for the 850 to be part of such a great organization. The Patriot Guard, the Patriot Riders, and everybody involved. It's, and you can see how well organized this is and how we're working hand in hand, side by side, you know, just for one common goal. Being in the military, you know, it still means that we can give also back to our brothers.